Good evening. Welcome to the 2021 commencement celebration. My name is Alex Fingers, and I have the honor of serving as principal of Grapevine High School. Graduation, oh. graduation is a hollow tradition and serves as a reminder that one has successfully fulfilled their academic obligation. It is an amazing accomplishment that we'll celebrate together tonight. In the name of tradition that we Mustangs take great pride in, we ask that we all respect each graduate's moment in the spotlight tonight. Please refrain from the use of air horns, noisemakers, beach balls, or any other distractions that may interfere with the dignity of tonight's ceremony. Thank you for honoring each graduate with your applause. GHS unity is a phrase that is often said amongst our Mustang family. This year has truly shown us what we all can accomplish when we're working together as one unit to support our Mustangs. Can we take a moment to just celebrate that we've just finished arguably the hardest school year in educational history and we did it together. <laughs> in the vein of together, Please stand and join in honoring America with the playing of our national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. You may now be seated. Now please direct your attention to the Jumbotron for the invocation delivered by Jasmine Ashley, graduating number three in the class of 2021. Good evening and welcome to the GHS Class of 2021 graduation ceremony. Today marks the moment when we say goodbye to the world we've known for the past four years and look forward to exciting new opportunities. It is a moment of reflection and gratitude for the teachers, parents, and loved ones who have consistently supported and encouraged us to cultivate our passions and goals. Each of us entered high school as small seedlings who have since then flourished with your guidance into who we are today. We thank you for everything you've done. We have experienced an unexpected senior year but I've seen ingenuity in our problem solving and resilience as we continue to dedicate time to the family, friends, and our community. Like this year, life isn't easy, but I know that within each of us lies a drive to push beyond our limits and a passion to reach our goals, leaving behind a legacy of greatness. Our legacy is the seeds we plant in others' lives, small fragments of ourselves that speak to the love and impact that we leave behind in others' gardens. As we move forward, let's remember to embrace our differences and rise up with those impacted by injustice. Let's be mindful leaders in the change you want to see in the world and face future challenges with strength and compassion. In the wise words of Maya Angelou, the horizon leans forward, offering new space to place new steps of change. Class of 2021, I know we will go on to do great things. Continually growing and blooming, I know that when people look back on this class, they will see a beautiful field of individuals strengthened in their identity and eager for the future. I wish you all the best. Thank you. I'm honored to introduce the special guests who joined me on the stage tonight.
please hold your applause until they have all been recognized. Members of the GCISD Board of Trustees serving our community, schools, and students of GCISD is Lisa Pardo, President, Minnie McClure, Vice President, Jorge Rodriguez, Secretary, Coley Cantor, Casey Ford, Becky St. John, Louis Sullins. Dr. Robin Ryan, Superintendent of Schools, Let's welcome them with our applause. And now for a special message from the Board of Trustees. Howdy, welcome class of 2021 and families to Mustang Panther Stadium for your graduation. We are excited to have the opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments tonight. In some ways, graduation symbolizes the end, the end of a 13-year education career that began when you were just five years old. In so many ways, graduation is just the beginning, the beginning of the next phase of your life. Whether that's college or trade school, serving our country in the military, or going straight into your career, we are so excited to watch what you will do next. Know that wherever life may take you, GCIC will always be rooting for you and cheering you on. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We are so incredibly proud of you. Let's get this celebration underway. I have the honor of introducing 21 outstanding seniors from the class of 2021. These are the top graduates in a class of 519 students when I call your name, I invite you and your parents to stand and be recognized. Please remain standing until all have been introduced. And audience, please hold your applause until all 21 have been recognized. Number 20, Braxton Russell. Number 20, Jillian Corey. Number 19, Nicholas Heredia. Number 18, Lindsey Kerlingus. Number 17, Grant Gormley. Number 16, Braden Stevenson. Number 15, Fate Sao. Number 14, Emmeline Roshman. Number 16, Lauren Kerlingus. Number 12, Ariana Frenzel. Number 11, Christopher Bowie. Number 10, Aislinn Gaddis. Number nine, Jane Van Zent. Number eight, Jack Rogers. Number seven, Catherine Brigham. Number six, Mitchell Miners. Number five, Maura Hilton. Number four, Jason Short. Number three, Jasmine Ashley. Number two, Mina Chow. And number one, Avinash Sarivansan. Congratulations to these students and their parents and families. You may be seated. Members of the school board, Dr. Ryan, administrators, faculty, members, parents, families, friends, and graduates. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you tonight as we honor and celebrate the 2021 graduating class of Grapevine High School. Before I begin, I'd like to recognize a few groups of people who've been so vital to the success of this school year, a year like no other. And although tonight's ceremony is about honoring and celebrating our graduates, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge these groups and their herculean efforts this year. The first group I'd like to recognize are our fine administrators, 
They spent countless numbers of hours this year planning, problem solving, and finding creative solutions to obstacles that we all have faced this year, much like our graduates and much like our obstacle for today. Our theme this year was preserve the herd and that they did with an altruistic spirit to create amazing experiences for our Mustangs. Would the following leaders please stand and be recognized? Mrs. Mandy Alexander, Mrs. Catherine Henry, Mr. Ted Wilman, Dr. Kendrick Johnson, and Dr. Paul Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give them a huge round of applause for the efforts of these leaders this year? The next group I'd like to recognize are our nurses, custodians, faculty, staff, and our superheroes, also known as teachers. Together, they've been the secret ingredient to us being able to keep the doors open and the lights on this school year for our Mustangs. And without every one of you making the sacrifices that you've made, your ingenuity and creative ways of thinking of school differently in every aspect while maintaining those fundamental traditions that are best for our students this year would have never happened. Would every member of the Grapevine High School faculty and staff please stand and be recognized for your sacrifice and create an outstanding school year this year. Parents, you've heard Dr. Ryan, our superintendent, speak many times about GCISD missions to be the best. And all of you know that we define that as building excellent schools together. Well, this year was no exception. In fact, we've partnered more in the learning process of our students this year than ever thought imaginable. And for that, we thank all of our parents. We've partnered with the City of Grapevine and their local businesses and restaurants to host the first ever outdoor prom at the downtown train depot, where we were able to shine our beloved mascot, Legacy, under the Grapevine sky. We've partnered with both Grapevine and Colleyville Police and Fire Departments to host a senior parade for all districts 2021 graduates, and for these partnerships, we are also forever thankful. Graduates, Will you join me by standing and giving your parents, family, friends, and members of the greater Grapevine Colleyville community a huge round of applause this year for all of the support they've rendered. Graduates, if you at this time would stand and give them a round of applause. And certainly not least, if I may, on behalf of the entire class of the 2021, and you guys may be seated, <laughs> I would like to recognize and thank the class sponsors, Kate Burkhart and Julie McConathy. We sincerely thank you for your tireless efforts and ingenuity on behalf of this class. Twenty twenty one will be a year that we'll never forget. It may go down as arguably one of the most difficult school years in modern history. And as easy as it is to point out all that was wrong or inconvenient about this year, there was some great accomplishments that occurred as a result of you being resilient, believing in yourselves, and sticking together. Twenty twenty one was filled with challenges, social distancing, masks, dividers, and quarantining the name of few. But there were other challenges that emerged as a result of the pandemic that we didn't mind so much, like the silly TikTok challenges that brought families together for fun, dancing, laughter, and singing. Family time that allowed us to take our minds off the circumstances of COVID and around things that mattered most. These memories and many others reminded us the importance of family. And as I stare out into the stadium packed with family, we should always be reminded that tonight's milestone does not solely belong to our graduates. Rather, it is a shared experience for all who have supported our graduates to this point. Challenges are an expected part of life, but the same can be said about overcoming them. Having been in the district the past eight years, I can attest that you have experienced challenges and you've overcame them. Who remembers their introduction to sixth grade? Wolf Camp. 
coat count, pony count, all of these camps were filled with rising sixth graders who at the time were embarking on a new journey in life. You had challenges then, and you probably don't think of them as challenges now, but do you remember the fear of not being able to open your locker? That was a big challenge back then. What about the fear of making it to gym class on time from the various places that you were going from in four minutes? All major challenges then, and uh, let's not forget cotillion. Your introduction into asking someone for a dance. All of those were challenges that you faced then as sixth graders, and you might have then thought that these were the biggest challenges in the world, but what you've learned is that they too become something of the past. And as I think back to our prom that we held in downtown Grapevine not too long ago, you guys have learned a lot from Cotillion. I know these may seem like very laughable moments, but again, all of these things just culminate into reminding you that things will be challenging at some point, but you too will overcome them. The obstacles that you've overcome and triumphs that you've experienced culminates tonight in this graduation ceremony. And as much as the year 2021 will forever be associated with you, we can all agree that your journey to this point didn't start in 2021, and neither will it end here. In fact, this is only a closing of one chapter and the beginning of one anew. The skills and lessons learned over the years acquired from your participation in athletics, competitions, academics, and in, the, and in life are yours to keep and to be called upon when you face the horizons of tomorrow. Allow those experiences to serve as reminders that you've stood in the face of adversity and have come out victorious, that you can accomplish with the right amount of dedication, perseverance, and belief in yourself any endeavor that you set out to explore. One of these days, you'll be able to tell the story to this chapter of your life one that will forever be remembered in the history that included virtual schools and other things. But you will be able to say you overcame every one of these obstacles victoriously. And you didn't do it alone. The fact that we were able to meet the many requirements set before you in the midst of a pandemic during your senior year of high school is an outstanding feat in itself. Allow this experience of overcoming adversity to become a fixture of your mettle and fortitude as you pursue future endeavors in life. There's a poem that I think about and I feel it suits this graduating class of 2021. It is about overcoming adversity and remaining hopeful in the face of uncertainty. And it is entitled Invictus by William Ernest Inley. And it goes as such. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I think whatever God may be for this my unconquerable soul. Under the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horrors of the shade, and yet the menace of the years shall find and find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate nor how charged with punishment to scroll, for I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Mustangs, you've stood in the face of uncertainty and adversity and stand before me today triumphantly. You have proven that GHS unity is not just a saying, but a way of life. When hard times come, we face them together. When good times come, and currently we're still ranked number one in the, in the, in the World Cup, not in the World Cup, but in the Lone Star Cup. So congratulations to this graduating class. We are number one as of t right now. I'm not gonna check the uh, update, so yes, we're number one right now, last I read. <laughs> we celebrate those together as well. So go out into this world and change it for the better. Take with you your grit and ability to persevere in your family values that you've made you the young women and men that you've become. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished thus far, and I look forward to all the great things that are to come. Make us proud, congratulations, and remember, once a Mustang, always a Mustang. Thank you. And now we'll have the pleasure of hearing 
of the members of our graduating class who have ranked number one and number two in the class of 2021. Our salutatorian is Mina Chow. She is the daughter of Yan Wu and Yaku Zhao. Please direct your attention to the Jumbotron and join me in welcoming Mina. Good evening. I'd like to take a moment to first thank everyone who has made tonight possible. The staff, administrators, teachers, and of course, the students of the class of 2021. Over these past few ye four years, we've lived through some unique situations, and I'm glad that despite it all, we're still here in the stadium tonight. I'm honored and terrified to be speaking to you today. To be quite honest, I didn't expect I'd be here so soon. As a freshman, I thought four years was forever. I thought that when I was a senior, I'd have everything figured out. Well, four years wasn't forever. I have almost nothing figured out, and I'm still qu not quite ready to leave this place behind or all the people who have come to mean so much to me. However, I take heart in the knowledge that even though we're leaving GHS behind, we're bringing pieces of it ahead with us, too. We have our memories. We have more merchandise than we'll know what to do with. Most of all, we'll have the people we've become, people we wouldn't be if it wasn't for Grapevine. I wouldn't be as confident as I am today without the confidence of my friends in the Grapevine Guard, who showed me how to stand up for myself and what I believed in. I wouldn't have such a passion for history if it wasn't for the passion of all the history classes I've been in here, classes filled with students and teachers who either loved the subject or loved arguing about it. I wouldn't love words as much if my English teachers hadn't loved language with such a fervor it showed every time they read to the class or ran through our essays. I wouldn't be as inspired as I am to take academic risks without the inspiration of my science teachers who encouraged me to trust them, trust the process, and ultimately trust in my own ability to succeed. And if it weren't for my math teachers or the study buddies I met in their classes, I probably wouldn't remember my times tables or that math could be anything more than a source of terror. If I could properly thank everyone here at Grapevine High School who has helped make me who I am, I would be here all night, if not the rest of my life. I know I am not alone in these sentiments. Grapevine High School is full of people who care, who are passionate, who fight for what they believe in. They are the friends and classmates who save seats at the lunch table, who will sit with you when your world is falling apart. They're the teachers who fight for their classes and still find the time to help students who aren't in them, who go above and beyond out of the goodness of their hearts. To those who cared, all of you, I just want to say thank you so much. What you did mattered more than you will ever know. Well, the time's come. We're about to leave a school very different from the one we entered. We're about to leave as different people as well. You've all grown so much. Some literally, others more figuratively. After tonight, we'll continue to grow and change, to cultivate the, value that, the values that Grapevine High School has helped to build within us. Tonight, we look behind, but also ahead at what lies before us, at the new people we'll meet and the new places we'll go. We look ahead at an exhilarating, terrifying future, a future we get to write and make our own. As we go into that future, we'll carry the legacy of Grapevine, and we'll be all the better because of it. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you all so very much. I would like to invite Avanaj Serene Bonson to the, to the class of 2021 val valedictorian to address the graduates. He is the son of Ramesh and Patmavati Serene Bonson. Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, mentors, administrators, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. We are gathered here today to celebrate and validate the hard work of everyone sitting in the field or watching from the stands. Before I get too far into the speech, I would like to take the time to thank everyone for attending this momentous occasion. You all have had a profound impact on the students graduating today. Speaking on the behalf of the entire senior Mustang class, thank you. It'd be amiss to not specifically recognize my parents, grandparents, cousins, family, friends, and mom for unconditionally supporting, helping, and guiding me through my many victories and defeats. When I first sat down to write this speech, my mind, ambushed with ideas, was forced into an untimely loss of words. What I reminisced by my favorite high school memories, from chanting the fight song at freezing football games to receiving stylish crocs from Post Malone, or simply vibing during the scorching summer days at the lake. Should I cover the obvious stream of historical events we endured? Maybe I could just dance for three minutes. Until today, for the last four years, we have walked upon the same path, 
seeing each other in the same classes, hallways, and other school events. However, as we receive our diplomas and walk off the stage, our shared destiny splinters into over 500 unique but separate fates. At the final crossroads of our various lives, I would like to share a couple of words that may help you all blaze a path to life you will not regret. Looking back over the last year, we can see our leaders governed in a purposely polarizing fashion, stoking their political base with divisive stances, leaving our population divided and bitter. After millions fell victim to a stream of centennial storms, the forests continued to burn, the seas continued to rise, and our once blue skies filled with smoke. During the first nine months of the pandemic, the total wealth of the world's 3,000 billionaires grew by nearly 4 trillion, while the number of people living in poverty doubled to over 500 million. Just when we thought our country reached a state where men could be judged not by the color of their skin, a violent display of racial discrimination taught us that we are far from being judged by the content of our character. Faced with the unflinching cruelty of the world, with my speech, I hope to inspire the class of 21 to retake a future owed but never given to us. You are what you believe in, and you become what you believe you can become, the Bhavav Gita. At times, ambition carries a negative connotation, recalling the names of those who justify reckless character and insatiable greed under the banner of passion. We fear and mistrust it because when unbridled, one person can drastically alter the state of the world around them, for better or for worse. Nevertheless, this very same ambition changed the world to what we live in today. If Steve Jobs didn't have the drive to create innovative technology that revolutionized how we use computers, the speech would have probably been handwritten or typed on a typewriter. If the Wright brothers didn't have the ambition to take flight, those of you who flew here today to see your relative's graduation might have had to drive. It's ambition that propels people to accomplish great things. Without it, nothing great would ever get done. In a student's life, education builds character, skills, and professional attributes. But to implement your passion, your vision, and those ideas you have inside you, let ambition drive you, not fear. As we traverse more challenging environments, let ambition guide you to overcome obstacles both inward and outward. An ambition in life could be a, to become a famous actor, to provide free energy, to end world hunger, to start your own business, to simply become a famous artist, or to leave an impact on one's community. Your ambition in life can be anything that means something to you, anything that you really want to go after, anything that gives you energy and keeps you moving forward. Now is not the time to be realistic. Step into the rushing waters of history and change its course. It's a grapevine victory night. Ra ra ra. Mustangs fight. Thank you, Avinash. At this time, I would like to recognize the academic achievements of the class of 2021. The senior class of 2021 has been awarded just over $19 million in scholarship offerings, a truly outstanding achievement. I would ask any senior who received a scholarship to please stand and be recognized. Grapevine High School would like to recognize the volunteer service of our students in the ambassador program. If you are an ambassador, would you please stand at this time? You may be seated. At this time, we would like to recognize our senior officers who have worked so hard this year to organize fundraise and plan for the amazing prom experience that you were all able to attend. Would our senior officers please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students who earned scores of three or higher in AP seminar, AP research, and on four additional AP exams received the AP capstone diploma. This signifies outstanding academic achievement and attainment of college level academic research skills. Please stand and be recognized. The next group of honorees consists of students who have elected to serve our nation by joining the military. 
with those students joining a branch of the United States military or attending a military academy, please stand and be recognized. We would like to recognize those students who have been inducted into one or more of our 13 nationally recognized honor societies. When I call the honor society, please stand and be recognized. Please hold your applause until I've called all 13 of the honor societies. Would those students inducted into the Margaret Telford chapter of the National Honor Society please stand. Students inducted into the National Spanner Honor Society please stand. Students inducted into the National African American Honor Society, please stand. National Forensic League Speech and Debate Honor Society, students, would you all please stand. Those inducted into the International Thespian Honor Society, please stand. Students inducted into the Janie Cavender Chapter of the National Art Society, please stand. German National Honor Society, students, would you all please stand. Members of the French National Honor Society, please stand. Those inducted into the Chinese National Honor Society, please stand. If you were inducted into the Latin Honor Society, please stand. Students in the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, please stand. In our National Science Honor Society, please stand. And those inducted into the Quill and Scroll National Journalism Honor Society, please stand. Finally, those inducted into the Kaylin Winfro Chapter of the National Honor Society of Dance and Arts, please stand. If you were named in, in that last segment, if you all would please stand at this time and be recognized with applause, please. We're almost there. You guys may be seated. Please direct your attention to the Jumbotron for the message of the class of 2021 from Arena, I'm sorry, Ariana Frenzel, our 2021 class president. Good evening, students, family, and distinguished faculty. I am Maria Frenzel, senior class president, and on behalf of the class of 2021, thank you for joining us as we wrap up this chapter of our lives and embark on a new journey. Well, class of 21, we made it. Although the last two years have been nothing like we imagined, myself, your families, and the Grapevine staff could not be prouder of all of your accomplishments. Even though most of us were confined to the electronic prison, as Ms. Turpin so fondly calls it, you all have carried yourself with dignity and grace, and it's been an honor to walk alongside you. High school is an unforgettable experience. This rings true especially for us. I mean, imagine yourself 20 years down the road, reminiscing on the fun, the good, and the bad with your friends, your family, or maybe even your kids, talking about how much you'll miss even those last 15 minutes of Mimby you skipped. Sorry, Mr. Henry. But seriously, although our experience wasn't ideal, we are paving the way for future generations. We have realized what truly matters, our friends, family, toilet paper, and cherishing the time we do get to spend with our loved ones. So savor these last few moments we get to spend together as a class. I know each one of you are going to change the world. And well, after spending the last 12 years of my life with y'all, I know our world is in good hands. Thank you. Dr. Ryan, it is my honor as principal of Grapevine High School to present the class of 2021. I confirm that these seniors have successfully completed their course of study as prescribed by the Texas Educational Agency and the Grapevine Colleyville Independent School District. Mr. Fingers, on behalf of the members of the Board of Education of the Grapevine Colleyville Independent School District, I certify that these students as graduates of Grapevine High School with all the rights, privileges, and honors that this diploma signifies. Class of 2021, at the direction of the ushers, your role will stand and proceed forward to receive your diploma.
Gosh, Neela Srinivasan. Mina Wu Chow. Jasmine Natea Ashley. Jason Thomas Short. Moira Ann Hilton, whose diploma is presented by Louisa Hilton, gifted and talented specialist at Dove Elementary. Mitchell W. Miners. Catherine Ann Brigham. James Davis Rogers. Jane Michelle Van Zant. Aislin Grace Gaddis. Christopher Viet Hung Bui. Ariana Yasmin Frenzel. Lauren Alyssa Kierlingaitis. Emmeline Ann Roshman. Faith Lauren Sowell. Braden Kennedy Stevenson. James Grant Gormley, Jr. Lindsay Alexa Kierlingaitis. Nicholas Heredia. Jillian Therese Corey. Braxton Trevor Russell. Lily Sophia Johnson. Sophia Virginia Tierman. Mark A. Poveda. James Jedediah Walsh. Macy Rebecca Hedesheimer. Cassidy Noel Williams. Weston M. Schwint. Abigail Grace Schnauz, whose diploma is presented by her parents, Dr. Brad Schnauz, GCISD Deputy Superintendent, and Jenny Schnauz, PEAMS Data Support. Sydney Walker Corsier. Noah Philip Daniel. Sophia Daniela Valverde. Simran K. Lapsawala. Ritvik Kamind. Rachel Hannah Sutliff. Fernando Antonio Fernandez Knott. Elise Nicole Bradley. Michael James Gensheimer. Ava Grace Salomon. Amber Louise Dempsey. Sakina Gafour. Avery Michael Brennan. Matthew Garrett Cobb. Daniel Robert Cowley. Jared Fletcher. Rhett Mason Miller. Olivia Quinn Galloway. Carly Abigail Elms. 
David Reese Erig, whose diploma is presented by his mother, Holly Ann Erig, administrative assistant at Glen Hope Elementary. <laughs> Tiblets Gabramadin Abraha. Audrey Yoko Aguilar. Salma Aguilera. Malik J. Aldridge. Ava Elizabeth Alexander, whose diploma is presented by her parents, Mike Alexander, head football coach at GHS, and Mandy Alexander, associate principal at GHS. <laughs> Madeline Grace Alexander. Savannah P. Allison. Matthew C. Alpha. Amanda Jade Altoff. Amika Alwani. Donovan J. Anderson. Connor Patrick Anthony. Dina Grace Antonise. Irina Stefania Appel. Christian James Aranda, whose diploma is presented by his mother, Pamela Lauren Aranda, pre K teacher at Timberline Elementary. <laughs> Kennedy E. Archibald. Megan Ann Arnsa. Roshini Armstrong. Alyssa Rose Arnold. Lena Grace Assad. Jade Malady Azahar. Coleman Tucker Badgett. Jillian Hope Bain. Ali Nicole Baker. Ryland Michaela Baker. Ian Andrew Banks. Camilla N. Barrientos. Alyssa Erica Bartkowski. Sophia G. Bartman. Jameson Isabella Bauer. Haley Marie Bell. Khalil Alexander Bell. Gabriel L. Benavides, whose diploma is presented by Brandy Benavides, purchasing clerk at Central Administration. Aiden S. Bennett. Aaron C. Bennett. Jacob Aaron Benzik. Zilia H. Bedani. John W. Blassingame III. Matthew S. Blackston. Russell James Bolin. Peyton David Borges. Claire Olivia Bowers. Lily Katie Bowman. Noah Luke Boyette. Matthew Clark Bradford. Lucas James Bradshaw. Caden Kenneth Brake. 
Samuel James Brennan, diploma presented by Donna Brennan, Director of Purchasing. Ashley M. Brown. Cameron Grace Brown. Kirsten Nicole LaRue Brown. Diploma presented by C.C. LaRue Brown, staff member at Cross Timbers Middle. Madison Amani Brown. Jacob R. Bruin. Madison Sienna Buckley. Angelina A. Buckner. Caitlin Bowie. Gracie Dawn Burkhard. Scott T. Burke, Jr. Caroline Olivia Burrow. Samuel Alex Byers. Catherine A. Cairo. Nice to see you. Kale W. Callahan. Madison A. Cano. Allison J. Cantor, diploma presented by Coley Cantor, GCISD trustee. <laughs> Pimploy Cantrell. Gavin M. Carey. Caitlin McKenzie Carlson. Jacob Austin Carnes. Joseph Stephen Carnavale. Kiera Elizabeth Castle. Luke A. Castillo. Ayana N. Cedillo. Matthew Thomas Chaco. Melody Allison Chadwick. Nicholas Y. Chevalier. Isabel K. Clark. Jackson A. Clark. Michaela Nicole Clark. Samara J. Conejo. Rachel M. Connolly. Kevin J. Conte. Natalie, Natalie. Natalie K. Contreras. Caleb William Corbett. Max Andrew Cogill. Kristen Alexandra Coy. Callie R. Crawford. Miles A. Chrissy. Daria Davenlu. Addison V. Davis. Christy A. Davis. Riley D. Davis, diploma presented by Robin D. Davis, student advocate at Colleyville Heritage High School. <laughs> Patricio Andreas de la Paz Gutierrez. Eli S. Dean. Gabriella Sophia Debray. Kylie Danielle DeLeon. Millie E. Delicase. Utan Garrett DeLasso. Karina Desidiero. Perseverance of a Mustang. Once a Mustang, always a Mustang. Heidi T. Diaz. 
Miguel A. Diaz. James Blakely Dixon. Miley Alina Douglas. Riley Eden Doyle. John Tanner Dryling. Morgan C. Drummond. Lindsay K. Drysdale. Diploma presented by Delana K. Drysdale, teacher at Bransford Elementary. <laughs> Damian Ray Dykes Barraza. Gideon Easley. Laura Leanne Eckert. Jennifer G. Edelman. Emma Grace Edmondson. Griffin J. Edwards. Mason M. Edwards. Grayson Ellis Cole. Grayson Cole Ellis. Oh, gosh. Derek Matthew Engel. Uh uh, uh uh. Natalie Engel. Diploma presented by Alicia Engel, teacher at Colleyville Middle. <laughs> Brendan Joseph Enlow. John Preston Etter. Kiera Pauline Evans. Olivia Grace Everts. Preston, excuse me, Peyton S. Fadley, diploma presented by Helen Ballauer, Human Resources Administration Assistant. Cade Glenn Thomas Farragher, diploma presented by Julie Farragher, Assistant Principal at Colleyville Elementary. Michaela M. Fury. Andrew Wilson Feitner. Aiden M. Fennelly. Diploma presented by Annette Fennelly, special education teacher at Glen Hope Elementary. Teresa J. Finnegan. Uh -huh. Alice C. Flat. Brooklyn Larray Flores. Angelina Esmeralda Francis. Glacy Franco Gonzalez. Cole W. Franklin. Easton G. Frazier. Diploma presented by Rachel Frazier, Administrative Assistant to the Executive Director of Athletics. <laughs> Kaylee Marie Frazier. Kennedy P. Freemuth. Tyler J. Friedman. Benjamin Nolan Gare. Sydney D. Gallant. Alex Kikoa Garay. Adriana Nicole Garcia. Andrew Gregory Garcia. Jair Josefat Garcia. Kenya J. Garcia. Keegan Garwood. Benjamin L. Garza. Sydney Elizabeth George. Sophia Faith Gibbs. Haley L. Gibbs. 
Jack D. Girard. Christina H. Gerges. Seth Patrick Glennon. Grayson L. Goen. Litsi Gomez. Nimbe Ursel Gonzalez Valdez. Brian Uriel Granados. Denise Granados. Emily L. Gray. Haley L. Gray. Hannah E. Gray. Sarah A. Griffin. Tyler S. Galizia. Matthew Ryan Gutowski. Joshua David Hahn. Michael J. Hallen. Pfeiffer S. Hallman Gonzalez. Liam Craig Hamway. Caitlin R. Hamsey. Ali L. Hanks. Catherine Elizabeth Hairsnape. Mason Palmer Harris. Harrison Heath Hart. Alexander D. Havens. Zachary Allen Hawkins. Alexander B. Heppenstall, diploma presented by Stephanie Heppenstall, administrative assistant to the deputy superintendent. Adriana Marie Hernandez Carmona. Brenda Hernandez. Jose Hernandez Guerrero. Elin Richard Hurdler. Logan Pratt Hodges Hale. Caden Dean Holland. Kaylee G. Hoskins. Sydney L. Hubbard III. Madison Page Hudak. Jessica Elizabeth Hudson. Kendall E. Huff. Connor M. Hutcherson. Jack Michael Hutto. Grant Walker Isbell. Nuvia Jacinto Blanco. Kaylin Marie Jackson. Kendra E. Jackson. Landon K. Jackson. Nathaniel L. Jackson. Sarah Catherine Jenkins, diploma presented by Kate Jenkins, GCISD speech language pathologist. Camden R. Johnson. Chase Leanne Johnson. Garrett Reed Johnson. Elena N. Jones. Maya M. Joseph. Aaron Michael Jersnick. Turner J. Kane. Cade Stephen Keeling. Jonathan Michael Kellerman, diploma presented by Tanya Beth Kellerman, 
literacy intervention teacher at Cannon Elementary. Caitlin Marie Kelly. Anushka Sai Kesevalu. Katie S. Kimball. Brianna Nicole King. Jayla Lene King. Morgan May Kirkland. Teodora Yusavara Kisyova. Diane L. Kluber. Dylan Harley Connect. Meredith Kathleen Kozel. Caleb Anderson Kunert. Emma Carolyn Lackey. Diploma presented by Kimberly Lackey, AP Human Geography teacher at Grapevine High School. Jameson Theodore Lakin. Rory Isabel Lane. Keenan R. Langham. Lincoln J. Lawler. Grace Victoria Lawless. Emily Lauren Lazera. Joseph Lee. Matthew Joseph Lee. Cade M. Leverett. Madeline Grace Lindley. Matthew James Lockamy. Julie Longoria. Aiden Joseph Lurcher. Dylan M. Love. Ethan Michael Lloyd. Alejandra Romana Luvano. Presley Summer Lux. Jaditya Maganti. Jackson Malmstrom. Ami Mongrola. Samuel James Mansfield. Okay. Madison Marler. Ian Martin. Elizabeth Martinez. Orlando Martinez Gatan, presented by Ara Liliana Martinez, Assistant Manager of Nutrition Services at Grapevine Middle School. Reagan Onsley Mathai. Caleb W. Matthews. Alexis K. Mayfield. Ian Vu MacArthur. Joshua M. McCain. Dustin James McCoy. Patrick Thomas McAuliffe. Aaron Charles McDaniel. Cameron Alexis McIntyre. Jory Madison Magaha. Conlon Patrick McKinley, diploma presented by Shana McKinley, special education nurse at Bransford Elementary. Carrington Taylor McMaster. Jesus Enrique Medellin. Corbin S. Mahan. Hayden B. Melton. Gabriel Mentaka. George McHale. Murray McHale. Right, 
Avery Elise Miles. Evan Robert Miller. Robert P. Miller. Tess N. Miller. Grayson Scott Mills. Jenna Lee Moffat. Tanner A. Moorhead. Lucas A. Morales. Maximus Moreno. Annalise Jane Mraz. Sierra Naparowski. Charles Philip Nelson. Jace Michael Nelson. Ty R. Norman. Nadia Joyce Norton. Alfrege Kashika and Tumba. Kelsey M. O'Connell. Declan Michael O'Donnell. Janessa Ade Obregon. Edibola Daniel Olentunji. Chelsea Zelia Ortiz. Lisbeth A. Ortiz. Jonathan Padron. Ardmo Palacios. Gabriela Palacios. Angel, Angel Palmeras Melendez. Riley D. Park. Kyrie C. Parker. Nolan R. Parker. Oliver C. Pasquale. Rebecca Ann Patterson. Gabriela Pena. Hannah Maria Peterson. Lauren M. Phillips. <laughs> Samuel M. Pierce. Lauren Taylor Polk. Aiden Charles Poole. Nicholas A. Porio. Garrett Mitchell Porter. Taylor M. Post. Juan Carlos Puente Castillo. Zachary P. Quinn. Jake Thomas Rainwater. Sandra Andrea Ramirez. Amrit Rafi. Mio Rodri Alvarado. Jacori D. Ray. Sarah Elizabeth Rayon Cardenas. William D. Reed. Ryan Michael Reed. Grace Rendiers. 
Joseph Resendez. Kylie Rhodes. Riley S. Richardson. Palmer Christian Riley. Armando Ray Rios. Nicholas R. Rochelle. Emily Nicole Rivera Canas. Avery Roberson. Evan Robertson. Ryan Marie Robinson. Jacob A. Rodriguez. Jacqueline Saria Rodriguez. Sandra Romero. Sydney Grace Roundsville. Audrey Alyssa Ruiz. Jaden Elijah Brielle Russell. Omar Medat Saleh. Sophia Salonen. Natalie Santos. Mabel Mary Schlanker. Ainsley Marie Schmidt. Maggie May Schmidt. Lauren Schondau. Joseph Shu. Gavin Schumacher. Emily Scoggins. Shay Ashley Scott. Stacy Seltzer. Sitlily Serrano. Noah Sesam. William Patrick Shadel. Natalie Shia. Cole Shelton. Samuel Carter Shemwell. Gavin Shepard. Mason Shimkus. Arely J. Shipman. Sahil Shramankar. Hannah Serkin. Micah Sladen. Aiden Jackson Smith. Lindsay Michelle Smith, diploma presented by Rebecca Smith, third grade teacher at Colleyville Elementary. Ethan St. Clair. Wait. Elizabeth Joy Staley. Caroline Stapleton. Toby W. Stebbins, diploma presented by Heather Stebbins, STEM math teacher at Grapevine Middle School. Elijah Steele. Bryce Stegall. Caden Steven. Madeline Steubing. Aylin Stones. Addison Sullivan. Alyssa Taylor Swaim. 
Leo Takahashi. Aubrey Taylor. Camille Temple. Bryce Terrell. Lauren Nicole Terry. Alice Ray Thiel. Mark Avere Thomas. Michael Dwayne Thomas Jr. Wykara Thornsberry. Brandon Thurman. Macy Ann Tierney. Hunter Peyton Tower. Elizabeth Jing Tran. George Travis. Zane Truman. Sydney Trung. Savannah Turner. Esteban Antonio Orchidi. Montgomery James Urutia. Andres Trinidad Valdez. Melvin Vasquez. Ivan Ross Velasquez. Cynthia Vilches. Miguel Angel Villa. Rebecca Vianito. Avery Vorchard. Diploma presented by Julie Vorchard, STEM instructional coach. Jackson Wagner. David Bryson Way. Parker Walden. Grant Hardin Wallace. Joseph Walters. Noah Benjamin Ward. Desiree Washington. Lauren Watt. Eliza Watts. Ella Edna Way. Diploma presented by Sandra Way, paraprofessional. Brandon Carter Webb. Hannah Waite. Ethan Ainsworth Wells. Litzy Whiffen. Madison Wisman. Diploma presented by Stacy Wisman, counselor, O.C. Taylor Elementary. <laughs> Hannah Leilani Williams. <laughs> Jack Taylor Wilson. <laughs> Benjamin Wardrick. <laughs> Taryn Wright. 
Muna Yassin. Cameron Young. Ramez O. Zachary, diploma presented by Mona Guerras, lead caregiver at the ECDC. <laughs> Ramiro Zarate. <laughs> Alexandra Nicole Zafala. April Zuniga. Lizbeth Zuniga. And ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2021, I present you William Zuniga. Graduates, please stand and direct your attention to the Jumbotron for the traditional tassel changing ceremony led by co presidents Jenna Moffitt and Ryan Robinson, 2020 21 Student Council presidents. Graduates, please join me in turning your tassels. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve as your student body co-presidents. Audience, please stand. Gentlemen, please remove your caps for the playing of the Grapevine High School alma mater. If you would, please be seated quickly, graduates, and we're going to celebrate you in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Grapevine High Class of 2021. Congratulations to the parents and families of these graduates. At this time, you may toss your caps. Graduates, once you've retrieved your caps, you will have a seat and your line leaders will lead you out. We want to wish all who are in attendance a safe drive home. Thank you for coming out and good night. 